this is the video for routine 102 of the last pick game. First it sets T for tall to 355, wide to 605. Then it sets X and Y to the values in A and B. Now that's the center position for the first box but we want the rectangle that all the boxes are in, not the center. So it subtracts 63 from the x value and 58 from the y value to get the upper left hand corner of the rectangle that includes all of the boxes. Then it says box the rectangle and make it clickable as number 4. And the very next instruction says, did they click on 4? If they didn't, it goes to CI, which tells it to go home to the main program without doing anything. However, if they did click, all right, it just knows that they clicked on one of the boxes. So the mat action is used to determine which one of the 15 that they clicked on. It's told that there are five columns and three rows. That's the 15 possibilities, three times five. That means K can go from zero to 14. Well, the next thing it does, it adds one to the click count, saying, well, there was been another click. Then it says, if the box set at for this box is 99, it's empty, so therefore we can go up a level. We're going to go down here to CE. But if there was a pitcher already in that box, it comes down here and it's going to display the pitchers that were on that level already. It's going to set the show level to what level that box had been realized on already and set the show time to 30 clicks and then go home. So that level of boxes is going to be shown again. Now I've highlighted the rest of the instructions for this routine. This is what it does if the click was on an empty box so now it can go to another level. It sets L to the level number it's on sets M to L, which is the level number it's on, and then multiplies it by 15 because the offset to the show pictures for the level are 15 offset for each level. Then it adds one to the level number saying, well, we can go to another level. And then it says set J equal to the box number that was found and then set it, that box set, to L. So we know we're not going to use that set again. Then we add to JM, that's the offset for show pictures, and we say the offset for show pictures for that particular box is set to one, meaning to show that picture. Then it says the show level is set to the Lth level and the show time to 30 clicks. So it's going to show that animal's face <laughs> for 30 clicks. Well now it only set one of the boxes to this level. In the case where this is the dogs and there's four dogs and it only show one, there's three more dog pictures that gotta be set. So here it says if Set N to 4, subtract the level from it, and it'll tell you how many more pictures have to be shown. If it is less than one picture, then we go to CI, we have nothing left to do. But if there are additional pictures, it sets H here to 0, and down here for H to 14, one at a time going to go around 15 times for every one of the boxes. The first thing it does is set I equal to the sequence 
for that particular box. And then it says, remember, I'm going to say, these sequences were picked randomly. It doesn't just say it's going to start at the beginning and go through all the boxes. It's going to go in a random way. Well, the next one is the ith one, but it says if it's not equal to 99, well, then there's a picture there already. Go down here to CG, and we go around the loop for the next one. Once it finds a box that is empty in the sequence it's supposed to follow, it then says, well, that box set sub i gets set to L. That box can't be used anymore. Then it sets J to I and adds to it the offset for show pictures for this particular level and then sets show pictures of J to 1. Then it says, well, I can subtract 1 now from my number that we needed to find. And now if N is less than or equal to 0, I go to C I and I go home. All right, that's the end of routine 102 for last pick.